We're upgrading, boys. New Cat 6 technology. That's right, wired internet. Screw the Wi Fi. Hey guys, welcome into my series of videos on how I'm going about installing a security system. Do you see these two TVs up here? Well, I'd like those to display my cameras surrounding the RV. Now, the first part of this is going to be wiring Ethernet cable throughout my RV, and that's what these videos are showing. Now you can see I've removed the skirting to my RV and I like using the camera because it gets into places where I can't see. So you're gonna act as my eyes here, guys. So this is looking at the back side of the RV. There's a water tank on the left and this white tube is going through a pre-drilled hole. I believe that is an overflow tube. So I'm having a heck of a time here. I wanna put a camera on the external wall there and the best way that I can figure to get a wire over there is going to be putting one of these trim pieces that hide the wires, one of these things, up here, go through this cabinet, and then up through there, and then some uh, go through the wall, probably right over there. This is in the way. I can't seem to take it apart. So I drilled a hole right there, and in you know if it's uh, if I need to, I can cover it later with a wall plate. But I just needed to expose and see what's in here. And I think what I can do is put a wall plate on here and then just drill a hole right here and fish the wire through there. I love using the camera to get views into where I can't see. So let's see what's in there. You guys can see with me. Okay, well, it looks like we've got some spider webs, but that's the ventilation or overflow tube that goes out to the side of the RV. I'm going to use that hole to route some Cat 5 through. First off, I'm so happy that I have these uh, these rubber mats you get for $8 for like four of them at Harbor Freight Tools. Anyway, let's save your knees, especially here on this gravel. Okay, so what I've done is I've removed all of the... And I used this bad boy to get it out. That was a bad idea. So if you're wondering, this is what it looks like in the undercarriage. A lot of um, hydraulic uh, hoses for... So this is where my propane is, and I did a video on drilling hole through here, widening this hole, and then routing the, the propane uh, hose through there. So my Cat5 is going to take a similar path here. So it's going to go through this right here, and it should not impede the slide going in and out. So one of the lines comes through here, and then it goes up through, do you see that white pipe? There's a hole right there, and uh, you can see the Cat5 is, or Cat6 now, is uh, going up into that hole. Okay, we're on the inside, and so what we were just looking at was over here, actually. The white uh, ventilation pipe comes up through here, and I cut a hole. Do you see that? So I'll probably put a faceplate on that with the RJ45 connector wall plate to cover that hole, but yeah, I drilled it there, <laughs> and I, I wish I put it a little bit further back because it would have been a lot closer. We had to use uh, tongs, kitchen tongs. I put my hand in there and grabbed the Cat 6 with tongs and then pulled it through. So I've got uh, one there, and then that's going to go up with some of this trim, just like I have this trim right here, this wire. I don't know what you call that. Wire management uh, thing. I'm going to put one, add here one right here. This is going to go, I'm going to drill a small hole into the cabinet, and then that is the exterior wall right there. I'm going to drill through that. I'm also going to uh, put another Cat 6 up here, and uh, I have to go through all that again. So what I'm going to do is tape the Cat 6 to this line and then pull it through, and then that way I can just fish it without having to use the tongs again. And, um, <clears throat> and then I'll pull it back into place. So it's going to be two wires. Uh, one of the Cat 6s is going to go to an IP cam facing downward right there. And then I'm going to drill um, some holes in the back of this cabinet and route it all the way to this side and another Cat 6. Uh, it's going to be there for an IP cam. Okay, time for the next Cat 5. This is going to be going from the back all the way to the front. And I've had a lot of problems trying to get it past all this internal framing here, but I finally got it. Finally, success guys. This is what I've been using to uh, route uh, Cat 6 cable through the RV. Just had some uh, PEX pipe left over from um, a project that I never did. <laughs> I was going to put a hot water propane heater in here uh, to have basically an endless supply of hot water. But anyways, I uh, haven't worked on that project. So I still have these PEX pipes. So I just uh, used some um, duct tape and uh, taped those together and, uh, and then taped it to the end of this. 
what's recommended is a fishing rod. It's a little more rigid. It would have worked better. But anyway, after a lot of frustration, I finally got this. Anyway, I got it routed all the way through the undercarriage here. I actually say that uh, PAX pipe for routing Cat 6 cable or whatever, any cable, is actually pretty good for tight little places like this where you've got a lot of wires going back and forth. And uh, it gives you just the right amount of rigidity plus uh, flexibility to get through all of this wire mess. And I'm trying to route this so that I'm not crossing over any um, power cords. But uh, yeah, it allows you to like bend it from a distance, but still allow a little bit of rigidity to aim at places. So that's what I'm doing right here. All right, we're upgrading boys. New Cat 6 technology. That's right, wired internet. Screw the Wi-Fi. Put the PoE injector right there. Our PoE switch is gonna go right here or maybe down here, I don't know. Thank you, Mr. Pex Pipe. You've served me well, but our journey has come to an end. We've been through quite a journey together, haven't we? Make sure that you label your wires. Always have to do that. I find a good way to do that on the cheap is to just, <laughs> I take an envelope and I rip a little piece of it and then uh, with black marker, I write on there what it is and I write, you know, write it twice upside down and um, then I'll use the uh, just packing tape. And I find that that uh, makes it last a long time, and you don't have to whip out like a special label printer or anything like that. Anyway, that, that should stay in place, and I'll know where this wire goes, and it'll be up there. Hey! Hey guys, this isn't the last in the series, so stay tuned. To get notified of the next part in the series, click subscribe, and also click that little ding 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 bell. And that way you get a notification when the next part comes out. Stay tuned.